it's it's got good action it's got a good backbone it's taken some punishment that you know that people have put it in and it didn't snap or break and so I'm really looking forward to seeing how the rest of these perform. I've got 12 of them now and I'm gonna put them on my rental boat fleet and we're gonna put them to the test. All right, so you can see my variety of halibut gear here. Um, Run a little pens. Um, due to COVID, it's been really hard to get any kind of fishing gear and stay consistent on getting fishing gear. And when you own a charter boat and you own four rental boats, you go through a lot of gear, mostly on the rental boats. But my gear on my boat stays pretty shit top shape. I make sure of it. But on the rental boats, the gear gets abused. So I have always been a Lama Glass fan, and they have been my choice. Um, I run, this is the Dakota 700. I like the 7s and the 8s. Um, definitely tell family put this on here. I do not like any hooks on the face of the reel because it mars them up and then they start corroding really bad but anyways this is the 700 lc line counter with line counter i like the line counter you don't have to have it but it's just kind of nice when you've got clients and you can kind of see how close the fish is getting to you so if i've got a double on or a triple on i can kind of monitor it and know where i have to be on the boat um so the lama glass has i mean some of these lama glasses i've had for over 20 years and they've held up phenomenally they've got good action to them but due to corona covid or whatever you want the epidemic uh i've had a hard time getting a good supply and keeping them supplied so on social media i started seeing these videos of catch the fever rods and some of their promos were just almost unbelievable. Um, slamming them in car doors, and all I could think about was rental boats, you know, and guy out guys just are not that good with gear, <laughs> and they destroy a lot of it. So I needed something that was going to be bulletproof. And so I gave them a shot this year, and I put one or two of them on my charter boat, and I just wanted to see the action of them and how they performed. And so far, um, I'm I'm a, I like the rod. Uh, it's it's got good action. It's got a good backbone. It's taken some punishment that you know that people have put it in and it didn't snap or break. And so I'm really looking forward to seeing how the rest of these perform. I've got 12 of them now, and I'm going to put them on my rental boat fleet. And we're going to put them to the test. But we've landed a 202 pounder on one. It did it with ease. It didn't overstress the rod. I like the reel seats on them. They have really good reel seats. Um, the, lot, the rod itself is light. They're all in 7 foot 6. Um, this is the Hellcat. And I've got, I think I've got 6 of them on my boat right now and i've got three of the extra heavies this is an extra heavy and i've got the heavies and i've put three pounds four pounds of lead on them when the current was tough and they handled great i mean everything that i've seen out of this rod so far i would definitely it's, it's not coming off my boat and it's definitely going to go on the rental boats but uh i'll give you a recap on how it does throughout the whole season we'll see if there's any any casualties but this is a pin. This is also a pin here. It's just the Squall 50 level wind. I run a lot of level winds for clients because it just makes it easier for everybody. They've got a really good drag system. Um, they're not as expensive as the Shimano's, but they don't hold up as well as the Shimano's. The Shimano's hold up a little longer, but pins are super easy to work on. I'm not a big fan of tearing into my Shimano's. I'm not that uh, mechanically inclined and they're a little more eccentric. But uh, these are the rods that I'm running. Uh, I run Lama Glass. 
and I run now I'm running the Hellcats the catch the fever but if you haven't seen the any of the social media or any of look up look up the uh, look up those rods they're pretty impressive they come up with a trolling rod a striper rod I think they've got a few and I've got some for trolling this year that I'm gonna put on the rental boats and uh, but it's catch the fever if you guys like these videos and you'd like to see more uh, I've got a short little video on tying halibut rigging uh, with jigs and a couple different varieties of hook setups if you'd like like to see it click here and you can watch the whole episode there's more episodes coming up and if you guys like what you're seeing please like it subscribe it share it with a friend and let me know how I'm doing so whack them and stack them know where your meat comes from